Hello, welcome back for some more Fatal Zone, and we're still working on unlocking things in this game, so we're going to play for 10 minutes as the Pyro to try and unlock the new Firestorm Light Armor, so let's get into that. The one thing that I will say about this game, I would play it a lot more and go further, but there is some uh, very noticeable performance issues with this game towards the end, and the devs have... Uh, that they are working on fixing that. It's not just me and my potato computer. A lot of people have experienced that massive uh, drops in frame rate when you get towards the end of this game. And that's just, uh, you know, it, it's it's really, really not the best for making a video. But we're gonna we're gonna do what we can here. Um, now what? I, I do know the evolution book now. We're gonna take this. I've never seen this one, so we're gonna do the uh kusa regama <laughs> we're gonna take this the prolongation formula one of the ones that we had things that we had to unlock but yeah there's a lot of optimizing i guess that's the word i was looking for it's not very well optimized the game yet but it is an early access so you know we have to kind of just take it as it comes and we'll get what we get thank you to everybody that's been supporting the the channel lately appreciate it we are going to continue playing a lot of uh, Bullet Heaven games. There's actually a event on Steam coming up this week. I think starting November 6th called Bullet Heaven Fest. So expect to see lots and lots of cool games. I'll be trying to cover as many as I can to share with you guys and get your opinions on them. Okay, we definitely want to level up the one, the, like our one thing, because I want to see the evolution. We're going to be here for 10 minutes. That's the plan. It's not going to be a super, super long video. Usually around the 20 minute mark, if you go 20 minutes into a run in this game, you get, that's when you start seeing the massive performance issues with the game. So until they put out a patch for that, we'll try and keep it, uh, keep the videos to about 20, 20 minutes uh, tops. Melt this guy. Not bad. We don't have a lot of mutations on this character either, right? Like as you start to, oh, there's all the health kits. We don't need those yet. Once you start to get mutations on your characters, it gets a lot easier. Well, positive mutations. You can also get negative mutations that you have to heal at the infirmary. Damage is actually pretty decent right now. Um, We'll just keep on going into our damage, keep an increase on it. We want to try and level up as much as possible here. Get as many kills as we can. So if you, we have a lot of items that we need to unlock. Some of them are for clears, and I just uh, they're gonna they're gonna wait a little bit. Um, I think that's yeah. We can take this too. We'll take this accelerator maybe. No, you know what? We'll take the mortar. Take some more damage. Mortars are cool. And I think we have enough. I've unlocked the. Uh, as you level up the infirmary, I think, it gives you the ability to, you get evacs sooner. Good taking quick hands there. So yeah, we the more times you upgrade the infirmary, the more often the evacs will be two minutes instead of five. More mortars. But I really, I really like the, the way this game is built out like i like the with all the different buildings and everything there's lots of meta progress and i i really am of the opinion that you can't have too much meta progress in, in bullet heaven games it just gives you more to do the more the more stuff there is to do the more i'm gonna play we have a lot of different classes that we can check out too yeah so this is you have your you can look here it'll just show you the evolutions for what you have and then if you click on the evolution book it'll show you all the different evolutions we'll take the quick hands because we're running the smg i love the sprinters easy kills i think they've added um as far as the optimization goes they've added some things where you can kind of like take away where the zombies explode you can remove that um, that little 
whatever, animation from the game. It feels weird, though. Then the zombies just kind of, like, as you when you kill them, they just, like, disappear into nothingness. Like, they've been vaporized. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This boss is not taking long to kill. Hopefully he drops us a chest. Um, SMG again. Let's just uh, let's just keep that going. We haven't got the one that we want. I, I, I it's not the evolution that we want. We want to see the other one with our little ball and chain that spins around us. What do we have in the box? What's in the box? Gold. Nothing. Nothing of value for me right now. I want. I, I want to try and survive for ten minutes. It's gonna be tough actually. There's a chest. There, now SMG's max. We maybe could have waited. There's an evac, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, damage. The game gets really crazy towards the end, too. Like, really, really crazy. Once you get beyond the 20 minute mark, things get a little out of hand. Um, yeah, we'll go mortars again. There it is. Usera Gamma. I'm butchering that. I, I'm <laughs> definitely butchering the pronunciation of that. Purple dudes don't stand a chance. Guys, if you want to see more awesome Bullet Heaven games, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A little community milestone I did mention on the community tab. We hit 3,500 subscribers. Thank you to everybody that's hit the button. Appreciate it. It helps a lot, and it's free. Killer Instinct, all the way leveled up. We need more projectiles on that thing. One one little lonely thing spinning around us, it looks kind of sad. And you can get you can get mutations though that will add um, add projectiles. So you can end up with a lot of those spinning around you. By a lot. I mean, like, more than ten. Just flying around in circles. Through here. I still got hit. There we go. Give us two. We might not get the evolution on it. Good damage, though. I turned the damage numbers off for performance, too. Take it again. A little bit faster, a little bit more range on it. Pyro's not doing bad. I feel like the pyro should come with like a flamethrower though, really. Maybe that'll change. I don't think there is a flamethrower available in the game right now. Oh boy. Okay, maybe our damage isn't good. This is looking bad. Um, there. Physical damage on that. I need to find a healing thing. Ooh. Do I bother taking this? It's not my favorite weapon, actually. I'm really not a fan of the kunai in this. Because I feel like I'm on my back foot a lot, and it aims wherever you're, what direction you're looking in. Um, I'm going to take the, the Restore HP. Yeah, it shoots in whatever direction you're kind of walking in. And you're, you're, you're always on your back foot in this game. Or at least I am. I don't know if I've even shown off any evolutions in any of my videos, so there's that. Um, MG drone, I've never used this, flies around the Merc and fires at zombies that enter the MG range. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna die picking this up. Oh my goodness, look at this. There we got the evolution. Terranus fires continuously dealing electrical damage. On impact, it has a 30% chance to stun enemies. Projectiles penetrate targets. Like, that's very strong. And we got a little bit extras too. More fire rate, right, or reload speed, I mean. We got this leveled up again. More projectiles. We're gonna die. We're still gonna die. 
Actually, we might have enough now where we just melt things. Yeah, I'm not melting anything. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, we got out. Okay, let's go searching for boxes now. Apparently, our, da our damage is still trash. Hey, look at that. We're in the game. Is that drone doing anything? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It just looked like it was just kind of floating around looking. Reload speed on that thing. Needs to be addressed. Need more. The more runs... We'll take more cell regen because we, we almost died. The more runs you do, the more mutations you get. And then it's kind of nice because there's a lot of, like, uh, you have to... You have to take time off. You can't just, like, level up one character repeatedly easily because they'll, they'll have negative things that you have to heal at the infirmary. Level this again. We're almost there. Let's see what the evolution on this thing is. Try not kill that boss before we get a couple more levels. Reroll. Um, re-roll. Re-roll. Are you kidding me? Shocker. The shocker will hold them in place. Oh, we burned through our re-rolls trying to level up our thing. <laughs> there, full health. We don't need to spend any more on cell regen now. We should be fine. Two bosses. I really, really dig this game. I'm sure I've mentioned that many times. We'll take more mortars. You can even get uh, mutations that'll give you more rerolls. I have a character, I think, that has like nine rerolls on them. We're almost done. Next evac. We're out of here. I might hold off, though. I, I want to see this evolution. I'm kind of committed to it now. I haven't seen it, and I want to show it off. Yeah, that boss died and dropped me nothing. Oh, God. The football players have arrived. We're, we're trying here to get this XP. The little green ones don't give very much. We haven't taken the rabbit's foot for luck either, so we're not... We don't have great odds of getting multiple options. Oh, you suck. Yeah, we'll take the rabbit's foot. Give us a little bit better luck. I think we will. I think we'll stick it out for one more... Um, one more evac so that we can see that. It helps level your character up, too, the longer you can hang out. But I think that's probably going to be our limit. There'll be one more. Come on now. We'll take grenades. Yeah, because now we got to go. Now we got to go to 15 minutes. Right. So this is going to be pushing it. Chest. I'd love to get a level before I pick that chest up. Not enough guys signed up to make the circle for them. We got a hole in the wall. You can kill these guys. They drop gold, uh, like the gold XP, which is quite quite a bit more. More projectiles, increased number of projectiles. We got two chests laying around. We're just not getting luck on the drops here. One more level. Come on. I'll pick up the chest if I have to. Oh, it's 
it's just not giving me what I want. Mag pouch. Grab the chest. All right, fine. There it is. All right, next level. We get hopefully the. Oh, this it? This is it. Amaterasu. Projectile circle the merc continuously. That's what I was hoping for. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, it's over. So if you got this and you had a, a ton of mutations that are, are giving you more. We'll do that on the drone, a little bit more damage. Yeah, if you had that where it's. And you had like, I don't know, plus five on a mutation for projectiles, that would be crazy. It'd absolutely melt everything. More projectiles on that, and there's our damage. And they're working on adding more to this, where it's like more things having um, evolutions, of course. Drones look pretty cool. We'll say that. Look pretty neat. Uh, we'll do frags. More frags. Rocking two evolutions. The shield dudes are no joke. There we go. But with that thing running continuously, and it knocks back, quite strong. Like, can we just go AFK, kind of? For the moment. We absolutely can. Let's kill that boss. Grenades. That was cool. Three. You love to see it. Mortars, more duration, and more cell regen. More frags. This, of course, is just like the, the, the beginning difficulty, too. Like, there's a bunch of difficulties that you can play on. This is getting a little out of control. This, this is what I expected, that things would get a little crazy. You know, I said about 20 minutes is where you start to see, like, massive uh, performance issues with the game. But we, we wouldn't survive that long anyway. We, 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 we'd be dead. It's getting, it's getting pretty tight. Beautiful. I like the, the animations on the, on our little spinning friends there. They're doing good. Our little balls. Kill one more boss before it's over. Oh, wow. Melt the boss. It's funny, the boss sometimes... His bosses seem a little bit weaker than uh, enemies. 50 seconds. More drone. 30 damage now. Now it's going to really start to melt. It's doing work now. Go mortars. More damage, more AoE. Yeah, so if you get if you get the AoE mutations on your character too, it just like the the whole screen's just covered in explosions. Which looks pretty badass. It really does. This was good. I, I didn't think we'd get this this far. I thought I thought when I said I'd go for 15 minutes, that we'd be dead. All right, where's our evac? We aren't pushing this any further. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that boss. Oh, he's toast. I do think that there's some pretty tough enemies that come, and I don't think we're we're equipped for anything beyond this point. Get the evac. You got to see that though for the first time. That's really oh god, look at his gun melt. We're out of here. Look, we unlocked a couple things. Reached raid level 30 as Pyro, so we unlocked a new light armor. Uh, what's it do? Provide slight HP regen, some protection against physical damage, plus increased skill AoE, and we also unlocked incendiary ammo. So that'll that's one of the things we needed for um, another evolution. Boost fire and afterburn damage. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Fatal Zone, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.